evening. Uh, my name is Dr. Mike Knoll, Mike was actress for Clean Energy. I live at 2305 Glendale Drive with my wonderful family. Um, I'm here tonight to address a couple of issues at the same time. Before I do anything, though, I'd like to first thank uh, those of you who have supported our work in trying to stop a biomass plant again. This was a very important thing for the community and the work in the right direction. Uh, secondly, uh, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that you had the chance to uh, read my little letter to the editor not too long ago in the paper that talked about waste not want, and want not essentially Benjamin Franklin's wisdom of uh, being energy, ultimately energy conserving and energy efficient. And I have to assume that you all are in, uh, in tune with uh, that particular philosophy. What I'm here though tonight is really though is based on uh, what I read this morning in the the Daily Times. And I do understand the skepticism that still exists in some part of the community or the society in general in terms of solar energy. But I would like to find, like to point out that there are various reasons why solar is actually not cost, what is the term I think was being used, uh, inhibitive or prohibitive in terms of uh, cost being, prohibitive is the term. Cost prohibitive, thank you for bringing me. And I do thank you for making that statement too. Uh, if we would go back five years in time, you probably would be in a scenario where one would have this sort of a notion. I just had a chance to talk with some individuals in the last couple of weeks or days about where solar energy has moved, and I'd like to just give you a couple of numbers on it, give you some practical example of why this is actually a doable, a feasible uh, a situation today. If you would go back to the year 2007, you would actually have to pay about $12 per watt hours uh, in terms of reduction of the uh, solar energy. Uh, the $12 will drop to $10 in 2008. In 2009, down to $7 per watt hour. 2010 to $6. And as of 2011, we're actually below $5 per watt hour. If you have a residential home that would typically put a, a 5 kilowatt uh, installation onto the roof in terms of solar panels, uh, this installation would mean about 20 panels covering about an area of about 360 square feet. Uh, when you look at the financial situation here, the, the, if you also remember the numbers I just mentioned earlier, there has been an incredible decline in terms of the cost in terms of solar energy. If you were to finance this, uh, which is the situation that most people have, just think of you buying a new car, you buy a pay for it, so you get twenty dollars to $30,000 for one of your larger pickup trucks, perhaps. If you wanted to purchase the solar power, and would utilize all of the tax incentives you have available, you actually end up paying less than $9,000 for a solar installation onto your home. Those $9,000 will be, depending on how this has been done, uh, basically will be uh, basically paid off in a time period of, if you are able to pay in cash in nine years, you have to do some financing in about 14 to 15 years. The solar panels themselves have a warranty of 30 years. In other words, this is an investment that, as the process for solar installations have gone down dramatically, is worth considering and it's something that is actually rather doable. What I would like to uh, um, propose is actually, and it's a sort of like it's a little note at the bottom of my sheet, is I would like us to come together as a community, and this is the fun part now. Before and we we're always fighting. Now I'd like to be working uh, together with all, all the members in the community to actually maybe organize a forum where we invite individuals who do know better than I do, many of us here in the audience do, uh, what the true realities are of solar energy, clean energy in general. Because we all have to do some kind of a learning in this process. I am con constantly learning on this. Five years ago, this would have been a very, very different scenario. Just think about it, $12 for one hour. Now it's below $5. I mean, an incredible decline. So please keep this in mind, and um, I would uh, really appreciate if we would not be so hesitant in regard to a clean energy form that actually is rather feasible these days. In comparison, it costs less than a car, and it's an investment that up to 9 to 14 years, depending on your situation, you'll get basically all the finances uh, taken care of, and after that, you will get the money from, from Georgia Power. Now, I'm assuming that. And you will probably hear some news in the coming weeks that we're seeing a lot more developments in terms of solar energy in the community in a larger context. Uh, so this is, I think, a uh, wonderful statement at the right time. One last thing, I do apologize. One last thing. The example came out also, of, I think it was the, a company called Solyndra. A company went belly up in California, although it had received quite a bit of money to, uh, to be able to engage in so-called so, so green energy. Here we're talking about a manufacturing process. All the manufacturing
manufacturing industry, whether or not it's a stack star car manufacturer or a solar panel manufacturer, are actually in competition with China. So the reason why they went belly up is because of global competition, who can produce the cheapest solar panels. This is no statement at all when it comes to the potentials or the future direction we can go with solar energy. You understand the difference, right? One went up, basically belly up because it does not compete well with China. Most of our things are made in China. The other is a general scenario saying that the costs have gone down so dramatically that indeed we can put solar panels on roof and you have to finance the 9 to 14 years depending on the situation. Okay? I'd be happy to entertain any questions because there's a lot of information on here that I cannot share because I have that finger that points at me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit thirsty. So please, uh, consider supporting in one or whatever fashion you can and we'll try to organize this a forum that we can go all over together, sit at the same table, have various aspects to talk about the durability of solar energy as it is today, not as it was in 2007, uh, because things have changed for men. Thank you so much.